What's going on guys? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles here. I'm going to show you guys very, very quickly how to install the Albion Online Stats application. Uh, this is the application I use to determine um, how much fame I make per hour. I used the same tool in, in a recent clip I showed everybody on YouTube, or on, uh, on Twitch rather, uh, of how I do uh, Tier 4 group static dungeons. I just clear the mobs out. Um, I don't actually do the dungeons, but I was using this tool to monitor how, how I was making 400k fame per hour with the build I was using. Uh, I'll link to that video also, I guess, in the description. Um, I'm also going to include the link to this application in the description below and as well as one other uh, piece of software you're going to have to have installed in order for this Albion Online Stats piece of software to work as well. Um, if you look here, it actually says the installation on Windows, make sure that you install WinPCAP, uh, and it gives you the link for NPCAP.9983. Um, as of right now, I do not believe that works with this version of Albion Online Stats. So it actually, right when you open up the application, it gives you a link to uh, 0 0.9980, I believe. So we're going to install that as well. But so what you wanna do is go to this page and you can scroll down. If you have any concerns about whether or not this application is um, going against TOS, this is a letter that the developer had written to them about whether or not the application can be used. And uh, it checks all the boxes as far as not breaking TOS. It only monitors your own party. Uh, it does not modify the game client. It does not track any players that are not within the player's view and does not have an overlay to the game. So that's the main thing is you're not actually allowed to run this application on top of the game itself. Um, you run it in the background in a background window or on a separate monitor. Um, I actually run it on a separate monitor and I overlay that within OBS so I actually can't see the fame per hour while I'm looking at the game directly. I can look on a different monitor and see it, but I, uh, on OBS it just shows up on top uh, of my stream. In any case, what you want to do is go to this page. Like I said, I'll link it below. Uh, and uh, you want to go to releases. Releases is going to be on the right. It actually took me a while to find this because they changed the website recently. You want to go to releases and uh, you're going to use 0 0.11.6. Uh, on this, they have a bunch of different uh, distributables. They have one for Linux, one for OS X, and one for the infamous Windows 10. Um, most of us are probably going to be using Windows 10, so I'll show you guys how to install it on Windows. All you need to do is download this installer. It's going to ask you if you want to save the file. All you have to do is hit yes. Uh, then you can go to your little download window and uh, click that. Uh, and then uh, it's going to give you a little pop-up message that says Windows is protecting your PC, blah, 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 blah. In general, applications download from GitHub, you don't really have to worry about. All of the code is open source. It's available for everyone to peer review. And in this case, I'm assuming that everybody has peer, peer reviewed the software and the software is in fact safe. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit more info and then hit run anyway. Um, once again, download and run this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any issues with the code or any issues that the application might cause to your computer, but I run this application, so I believe you can run it as well. That's basically the best guarantee I can give. But in any case, you always want to make sure that the software you're going to be running from any third-party sites are going to be open source because that way the code can be monitored by other people. And this code is actively monitored and uh, issues are reported. So I, I do trust GitHub and software available on GitHub, and I do trust this application. So you just hit more info, and then you're going to hit run anyway. And it says, do you want to run this app? You're going to hit yes. Um, and then it's going to say, welcome to Albion Online Stats. Blah, 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 blah. Just hit next. And you can install this for anyone using this computer. If you do have trouble installing this application, try running the installer again or uninstalling the application first and then running it just for you. But you should be able to install uh, for anyone using this computer. There was a brief uh, issue where the application was not able to run for anyone but it should be fine now so just hit next after anyone unless you want it to just be run for one user and then you can install it to your uh, desired directory i just do c program files albion online stats it's good enough for me and it takes a couple seconds here um, to extract all of the files that are within the installer 
So we're just going to wait this out a couple seconds, a couple more seconds, maybe a few more seconds after that, and then maybe even another few seconds on top of that we're going to have to wait. But I promise it's going to be worth it. Byte compiling pith and modules. Beautiful. And then we're done. We're, you can, we can just hit finish here. And like I said, on that original page, it links to the uh, NP cap, uh, but it links to a, um, a version that is not compatible with the current iteration of the software. So when you open up the application first, it actually links you to another version of the software. I'm not sure why he doesn't include this. He or she does not include that into the uh, installation. But um, it's, uh, oh, sorry, it's 0 0.9990. That's the, app, that's the version we're going to be using. Uh, and I already have this linked here. I'll link it in the description below as well. And you're just going to save this file. Beautiful. And all you have to do is once you have it, inst once you have it downloaded, you can just install it again. Uh, and you're going to get another notification says this isn't a Microsoft verified app. You can just hit install anyway. Well, it's going to bring up another window. You only have to do is say, I agree. And uh, I install it for all types of things. In case you're going to be using Wi-Fi, you want to make sure that you have this accepted as well. And legacy loop app support for N uh, Nmap 7.8 and older, older. It's not super important that you have this check, but I just did anyway. More more functionality, more availability for the application. You do not need to restrict NP Caps driver access to administrators only. You would have to run other applications administrator mode in order to make this run. So we're not going to do that right now. Uh, we're just going to hit install here. And it should take a couple of seconds. Beautiful. And we're done. Excellent. Okay, cool. Uh, we can close these tabs after that. Beautiful. Okay, and then all you have to do is go to your start bar and go to, st I just type in stats because that's the only application that I use that runs stats. Uh, Albion Online Stats. And that's what it looks like. Um, whoops, okay, see now you get this little, uh, this little pop-up that says uh, MPCAP does not work with 0 0.9991. Uh, please make sure you have the older version installed. That's the one we just installed instead. So that would, this link right here actually link you to the um, the version we just installed. And that's it. This this is the application. Um, when we're inside Albion, uh, your anybody inside of your party is going to show up in here. And on top of that, um, like I said, it's going to manage your damage or the healing done. And right here is where it's going to show up with your fame per hour. If you want to actually see this application being used, um, I highly recommend you guys to come visit my stream, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Or like I said, I'll also link another video of me using this tool with the fame farm that I do with the tier four dungeons. It's a very, very effective way. It's a, a, a very effective way to do fame farming. Um, but this is how you install Albion Online Stats. I've been getting a lot of questions on how do you install it and how do you actually run it. Uh, you just have to make sure you have MP cap installed and make sure that you have the game running. Um, this needs to be launched before you switch zones. So if you if you pop open the application when you're already inside the dungeon, you're going to either have to leave the dungeon or just go to another floor of the dungeon for it to actually start registering who's in the party and uh, who is actually contributing to the damage or the healing. But this actually monitors three things. Uh, your fame per hour, the party's uh, damage done, and the, the party's healing done. It's really useful if you're doing Avalonian dungeons, or if you're doing any type of group dungeons, or if you're interested in who's doing a lot of damage during uh, ganking sessions, or any type of, uh, any type of group or solo uh, gameplay. It's really a great, great, great tool uh, for um, playing Albion Online. I've implored many people who do stuff in the Black Zone T8 or T7 dungeon running or anything like that to send me send me screenshots of how much fame you're getting per hour because I've been getting a lot of hate for me doing uh, soloing uh, group dungeons or at least the group dungeon static mobs. Like I said, I'll link that video in, in, in the description below. Definitely check that out. And uh, definitely check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. But uh, certainly use this application if you're if you're doing fame farming it's going to at least give you an idea of what's the best and most efficient way to be running your fame farming groups and or uh just your solo gameplay uh thank you guys really appreciate it have a good one and i'll catch y'all soon see you boys
and girls. Bye.